was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief and eyeing my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clutter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I waited the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the crest of the new fallen snow gave the lust of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering when I should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his paws as they came, and he whistled and shouted and I called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when I meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the horses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and Sir Nicholas too. And then in the twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his cap. His eyes had a twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of the kite held tight to his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a bald face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chugging plum, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and digging a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang from his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim who drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho.